Hi friends, it's Larissa, aka La to the R E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is the place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content creation, branding, and marketing game with Canva and the Wolfpack here at EXP Real C. If you know, you know. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these sticker gifts for your Instagram stories. These are specifically real estate gifts that have been highly requested and I'm very excited to finally share this video with you all. So if you are ready, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes and let's get into it. Alrighty, here we are at the Canva dashboard and to make things simple, I typically like to go for the Instagram story here, which is the 1080, oh, no, oh, no. Oh post here the feed post the 1080 by 1080 so the square post okay you feel uh, you can use this you can use any canvas you want any dimension this works for all things but again this just makes things simple now what i'm going to do is go and open up a, another file here so i have a previous tutorial on how i created this yard sale sign and what i'm going to do is just copy this page here and go back into this design here now if you want to learn how to create this specific design i will link the tutorial up in the cards above and in the description box down below so again just to make things simple on me i'm just going to take exactly what my yard sign looks like and what i need to do is actually give this a background so i'm just going to make this black so i know where to make a white rectangle so i'm just gonna kind of eyeball it like this i think like that and then I'm going to make this white and I'm just going to push this all the way to the to the back like that. Uh, as you can see, it is not perfect, but I'm going to fix it just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and drag and I'm just going to group this so it's one image. Right, now that I have my sign there, I'm going to go into elements and let me just make this a little bit bigger make my page a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go into elements and I'm gonna look, look up real estate sign here. I looked it up recently. If I go into graphics, uh, you'll see a whole bunch that you can work with. Typically, I chose one of the nicer looking ones. Let's see here, I think. I mean, you can choose anything. Let's just go with this for now. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, copy, paste. And I'm just gonna paste it right there so it looks like it's it's our yard sign. Ta-da! Okay, now what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this. Mm, and then actually before I do that, what I'm going to do is actually find a sold sticker. Sold sticker. I use this one. It was a pro one, uh, but of course you can use anything you like. Now in this case, it has a transparency, uh, which I don't really like. So I'm just going to do circle on my keyboard, C for circle. And I'm just going to make this white. And what I'm going to do is carefully put this right here. So, and then I'm going to put it backwards like that. And then again, what I'm going to do is click and drag everything and group it like that. Um, what I should have done was to duplicate this first, ungroup this, and let me click off. Because I want, let's see here, actually put this one first. You want this one without the sold sign and then this one with the sold sign. Now you can do it just like this like that um, but i'm going to show you another method here to kind of make it look animated so what we have to do is duplicate this page and duplicate this page and what i'm going to do is just rearrange this like that and what i'm going to do is click and drag group and then i'm going to go to positions and then i'm going to rotate it so i'm going to rotate it i didn't group it together oh no what's happening Okay, I'm you. Yeah, sorry guys. I have to click and drag everything so it's properly grouped together. Okay, that's important to make sure it's one unit. And then I'm going to rotate it. As I said, I'm going to go this way seven. And then with this, make sure that this is all grouped. Okay, and we're going to go negative seven this way. And as you can see here, over here, we see negative seven. Now you wanna make sure that 
this is in the same position here, the X and Y axis, and this is in the same position because when we create the animation, we want to make sure it's going to be, it's going to do this thingy, if you know what I mean. Okay, trust me on this, trust me on this. So now that you have that done, what we're going to do is go to grid view and this is what it looks like, okay? Now, what we're going to do is go up to the share button. We're going to go to download and we need to download this. I'm going to just do pages one to four and we need the transparent background. Yes, you do need Canva Pro for this specific kind of animation here that we are going to create. So click download. And then what we need to go and do is go into easygive.com. This is easygive.com, okay? And this, we need to go into the GIF maker. Now that we are here, we are going to choose the files and then first we're going to create we're going to create two different kind of animations the first one is just the sail popping so in this case ooh, we are not in the right one my bad my bad <laughs> we are in this file right here so we need these two designs here one and two so i'm going to select the both of them open we're going to hit upload and make a file or upload and make GIF, sorry. And then I'm gonna change this to 50 milliseconds. I'm going to click this on, crossfade, or sorry, don't stack frames. And then we're just gonna hit make GIF here. And then this is what it looks like, just that sold popping. And if you make this uh, de delay time shorter, so less than 50 seconds, it's gonna look faster. But I kind of like it looking right there. And then all we have to do is just click save. Now let's create the other animation here with the same sold sticker, but we're going to make the sign rotate like this. Okay. So choose file. We need to choose pages three and four. We're going to hit open. And then we're just going to hit do the exact same thing. Upload and make if. Then I'm going to change this to 50 milliseconds. Don't stack frames. Make GIF. Okay, did I click on it? There we go. Give it a second. And now you see it's doing the I like that. It just makes it a little makes it look a little bit more interesting. It's a little more fun. And then same thing down here, just click the save here. It's gonna save directly to your desktop. So here is what the GIFs look like when they're completely downloaded to your desktop. So this is the first sticker. And then if I click over here, this is the second sticker. So for myself, because I am a Mac and Apple user, I very easily can just take these two pictures, images, and I can just share this to my phone. If you are not an Apple user, I suggest you just upload this into Google Drive and then save it from your phone that way. So I'm just gonna airdrop this to my phone here. And then <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use it. Open up Instagram and then I'm just going to take a random photo. Obviously it's ideal if you use your listing photo, but we don't have that right now. So what I'm going to do is either take a picture or you can, or you can share a feed post from your feed to your Instagram story, if that makes sense. So actually, let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to discard. I'm going to, let's say, I'm going to go to my feed post here and let's just say randomly that this was a, a listing photo so if i hit the share button here and i can add to story what i can then do is now that i have this post here on my story i'm going to go into my photo gallery i'm going to choose either or the first sticker or the second sticker i'm going to the second sticker and then i'm going to hit this uh, share button down here I'm going to copy the photo. I'm going to go back into my IG story. I'm going to hit anywhere on the page. I'm just going to hit paste in. Then you can drag it wherever. And that is pretty much how you use your Instagram sticker gif real estate sign. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to share it with your other real estate friends out there. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, hashtag and crew, so I know that you are a real one and you stay to the very end. And if you want to learn how to create even more stickers and other gifts, then I recommend you check out these videos right over here. And until next time, I'll see you all next time. Bye!